In this video, I would like to give you a demonstration about my sonic meditation table. I got the idea for this project while participating in the Deep Listening Certificate program with Pauline, Ioni and Eloise. The sonic meditation table is basically the combination of extended saxophone techniques and Stockhausen's rotational table. Evan Parker has been working a long time with a garden hose attached to his saxophone mouthpiece. And Marzen Kerbash has extended this idea by mounting his trumpet to the other end of the garden hose. He can now play small objects on his trumpet bell that rattle and vibrate with his trumpet sound to produce complex textures. I departed from this idea to build something similar for the saxophone. One problem with a saxophone of course is that it has keys that are open if you don't press them down. So I bought some clamps that are meant to protect the saxophone while carrying to clamp the keys down without using my hands. I built a table where I mount the saxophone upside down so I can place objects on the bell. For the neck mount, I built an adapter so I can attach a garden hose and a tenor saxophone mouthpiece to produce the low frequency sounds that I desire. So now on top of my saxophone bell I build a box and on top of that box I attached a 90 degree elbow that is movable. Stockhausen of course used his table with a loudspeaker that was attached to a movable horn so you could direct the sound to four microphones to produce spatial patterns. In my case I don't have a loudspeaker but I drive the movable resonator directly through my saxophone. By placing two or more microphones in front of the elbow I can now create complex spatial patterns. I can enhance those spatial patterns by using hand percussion instruments that I move with my hand across the microphones. The idea is to create a microcosm where you can change things spatially with small hand gestures. In a big room of course you have to move quite a bit to hear the spatial changes. By using movable microphones you can change the spatial patterns with small hand movements. I'm still working on creating denser sound fields, but I would like to give you a demonstration of what my instrument sounds today. <laughs> 